Hi y'all, it's Mona May here. And those of you that have followed me before on the YouTube thing me know that, well, I like to support local businesses. I, I do a lot about that on my Instagram account about how important it is to shop local. And well, well, we've been on this little road trip up to um, Sky. And um, well, as we're driving up here, we stopped at this little shop. Well, actually, we had to go to the toilet. We were bursting for a pee, um, but then we felt guilty. So we thought, well, we better go in the shop too and, and, and make something and support the local economy up here in, in the Highlands. And well, we went to a place that made chocolate. Now, any of y'all that have seen my YouTube thing me or my Instagram thing me know how much I like chocolate, you know, and my particular favorite, bare bones chocolate. Well, I thought, well, I know what I'll do. I will just purchase a box of chocolates made in the Highlands. And I thought, well, let me taste test these and then we will see how they compare to my favorite bare bones chocolate. Now, they had lots of different chocolates at the Chocolates of Glen Shiel, Shiel, Glen, Glen, Glen Shiel, Glen Shiel. I think it's Glen Shiel. Um, it's right, right near, right near Sky. It's really on the mainland near Loch Garber or something like that. Anyhow, it's way up there. Um, and this is the classic section. They have other parts, other boxes too. But as you can see here, they've got ginger. Ooh, I love me a bit of ginger. It's been whoa, twenty years. Before I got married, since the last time I had a bit of ginger, but I do like it. We'll see how it is on chocolate. Um, and then the Highland Roast Coffee. Ooh, I like coffee. And coffee and chocolate go together just lovely. Sky Salted Caramel. Caramel? Caramel? I say caramel back home, but here in Scotland we say caramel. And then Dundee Marmalade. Ooh, Dundee Marmalade. I like marmalade too. And orange and chocolate should go together. And then Heather Honey and Raspberry. Ooh, that's going to be lovely. Well, let me just unbox this here. It's a nice little box, nice little petite box. Those are lovely. I might like a nice little box. <gasps> it's Finley McDonald. He founded Chocolates of Glen Shield when he was only 16. That was an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial, um, business, business mind. Um, and, um, oh, he, he, He's blessed to live in the picturesque Glen Shiel. It is beautiful up here. So anyhow, it's a local business started by a 16 year old boy. Let's see how that, oh, oh, and look at these. Oh, they are just beautiful chocolates. Oh my gosh, you get three of each kind. Oh, let's see, um, it's on the back. Oh, oh, silly me, it's on the back here. So this will be what? Which one is this one? I can't tell. It just doesn't look like this on the on the thing, man. Well, I don't know. Well, we will just try it and see. Oh, I see. That must be the salted caramel. And that must be the Dundee marmalade. And well, I don't know. Hell, let's just try it and see. I'll try the ginger first. You'll have to excuse me because I'm doing a taste test. I'm not wearing my fake tooth because I'm still waiting on my implant. So if you see me to a toothless wonder, that's why. Mm. I'm getting notes of Highland sheep. Mm. Oh, that is a ginger. I haven't had ginger nuts in ages. Mm, yes, that will do just nicely. Well, mm, a bit of chewy. Ooh, the ginger's really coming through. Now, that is lovely. I'll save this to later. And then this one must be the Highland Roast Coffee. It's almost 9 o'clock at night. I probably shouldn't have coffee, but... Mmm. Yeah. It's really nice too. Mm. Get the note, I get the taste of coffee. A lovely chocolate. Mm. Oh, here's the caramel one now. Oh, it's kind of crunchy on the outside and so soft on the inside. And then that burst of salt. Mm. That is nice. I'm going to finish this whole one. I really should clean my palate, but I'm a super taster. I can taste through anything. This will be the Dundee Marmalade. I believe it's, it's got to be orange, don't you think? Orange Marmalade. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Again, crunchy on the outside, smooth and creamy on the inside. I do like things that way, hard on the outside, creamy on the inside. Mm. Mm. Definitely notes of chocolate again. A bit of orange marmalade. The orange isn't coming through. Oh, there it is, there it is. It comes through with the aftertaste. Mm. Mm. Now I can't wait for this one. Isn't that lovely? I wonder how they get those straps on there. Sometimes I have straps like that in my underwear. Anyhow, this will be the Heather Honey and Raspberry. Oh. Whoa. Mm. This is lovely. It's like a nice white chocolate. And I can taste the Heather and the honey. And then the raspberry, it's really a lovely, but that goes together just lovely. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, that is just fine. I'm really glad I tried all these chocolates. Because I like to support the local economy. And they are really, really lovely. I really, really like them a lot, but, well, um... I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to get this taste of the Thailand chocolate out by eating some good old Glasgow made chocolate from Bare Bones Chocolate so I can get some proper chocolate taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now see, this is what chocolate should taste like. This one's got chocolate and croissants in it, or croissants. Yes, well, I can highly recommend the classic selection of chocolates of Glen Shield. And then when you get tired of that, just go to Bare Bones Chocolate and get some more of the good stuff and get that good taste in your mouth. Okay, see y'all. Bye.